Hey guys, Pat here with Supreme Screen Service. Today I'm going to show you the basics of how to create a cut contour line in Corel Draw for stickers and such. So we got this journey logo here. I just basically downloaded this JPEG file from the internet. Um, I got it at four and a half inches by approximately two inches. Over here on the right side, I've got my Roland VersaWorks cut colors. Actually, the pink one is the cut contours. You can see that name. That's what the cut line needs to be. You can order stickers on our website. Uh, if we cut, if we have to create the cut contour line, we charge fifteen dollars. But if you can utilize this video and create your own cut line. You save yourself a few bucks, make a little bit more profit. All right, so I have this selected here. Uh, your image does not have to be vector. It can be, but the cut line does have to be. So uh, that's what the machine needs to see in order to know the shape. Otherwise, this is just a square, um, and the machine's not going to know exactly where you want that cut to be. So I'll show you how to build that in a quick, easy way. So first thing I'm going to do is hit Control-D, and I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to bitmap this. I can tell that it's bitmapped already because it says trace bitmap. If you're not sure, you can go to bitmap, convert to bitmap. I like to choose RGB and 300 DPI. That way I get all the details. Um, it's not fuzzy or anything. All right. So then I'm going to trace it. I'm going to outline trace with a line art. It's going to take a few seconds usually gives you a countdown in the right hand corner and based on the settings you have in your corel draw you might get different results uh, there's another app called vectorizer.ai you can utilize then bring it into corel draw as you can see i have a transparent background here that's what i'm going for um, i'm just going to hit okay and from there um, i am going to fill it and stroke it with black so that gives me a silhouette of this design. It also, once I trace it one more time, will give, give me that cut line. So what I'm gonna do here, <clears throat> in the background, I got my original image, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna select this and bitmap bit map it one more time. I'm gonna keep it RGB. Um, I seem to get best results doing it that way. I'm gonna hit okay. So that is now its own bitmap. I'm gonna trace that as a line art again, and that's the silhouette with transparent background. So what I'm gonna do is delete the original that was there, and now I am left with this vector version of the silhouette. I am going to left click that with a fill of nothing and right click that contour color. So what I'm gonna do now that I have this, this is, this you could use as your cut line if you wanted to, but it's really close to the image. So one trick in Corel draws, if you hit P, select your logo and hit P, it'll center it. And I'll do the same thing with this cut line. And right there you can see I have an exact registration of that cut line around the sticker. That's cool and all. We can make the sticker for you like that, but let me give you one more tip that will help you have a better looking sticker, which is to give it a little bit more space around the graphic uh, for your contour cut. So I'm gonna go up to my pick tool. I'm gonna make sure I'm selected on this cut line. If you uh, click and drag, it'll move it and then just hit Control Z. You're on it. You can also see down here in the bottom right hand color what you have selected. What I'm gonna do is go to my contour cut, my, I'm sorry, my contour tool here in Corel Draw, I'm gonna click on that. And up top here, you have some tools. First of all, you have a number of steps and you have the number of the size. Here, you have your outside contour and your inside contour. We're gonna choose an outside contour with a one step. Size doesn't matter quite yet. So I'm gonna simply select this by clicking it and it produced that extra cut contour. I'm happy with where that is, but if you're not happy, you can just simply hit the up or down on the size and kind of dial in where you want it to be. I, I kind of like it right there. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to go back to my pick tool and I'm going to click on this new outline. I'm going to hit control K. What control K does is makes those two lines apart. Now, originally I produced this black line based on the pink line. When I made the black line, they were combined together. So by clicking on it and hitting control K, this is now its own piece. I'll control Z that and put it right back. But what I'm gonna do is click on the pink one and delete that, click on the black one and make it my cut contour. From here, you could just basically select it, produce a PDF by hitting control E. Um, make sure you got that there and then name it what you want. Um, choose selected and hit export. And that's all there really is to making a cut contour in CorelDRAW with a complex image. So say for example, you didn't want it to be that complex and you just wanted it to be a rectangle sticker, maybe sort of like a bumper sticker. You can grab your rectangle, your rectangle tool here, just draw it around, right click with your cut contour and you're good to go. One thing I didn't mention I don't think is where to get your con cut contour. Uh, I believe you go to Windows, Color Palettes, and Palettes. And right here you go to Spot Color. I'm gonna open that flyout, go to Roland, and you wanna check this Roland VersaWorks box and then it'll show up here in your color palette. That's the gist of it, guys. Um, feel free to produce your files with a cut line. If you don't, We'll happily do it for you for $15 per job. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to support at supremescreensupply.com or give us a call. You can always find our phone number at the bottom of the website. All right, take care. Thanks.